Science and health with key to the scriptures as the central text of the Christian science. Mary Baker Eddy described it as her most important work. She began writing it in February 1872 and the first edition was published in 1875. However, she would continue working on it and making changes for the rest of her life. The book was selected as one of the 75 books by women whose words have changed the world by the Women's National Book Association. Topic. Basic beliefs Christian science develops its theology and its healing method from these simple statements. God is all in all. God is good. God is mind, and God is infinite, hence all is mind. The conclusions are that we are all perfect spiritual ideas of the one divine mind, and manifest spirit, not a material body. The five physical senses, which take no account of spirit, are the origin of all false beliefs. Adherents of Christian science claim that sickness is just a belief, not a property of matter. Praying from this standpoint removes the belief and brings healing. Topic. Structure The latest edition of the book consists of a short preface, the main section, a key to the scriptures, and fruitage. Some editions include a word index. Topic. Main section The main section is 500 pages long and comprises chapters titled as follows Prayer Atonement and Eucharist Marriage Christian Science vs. Spiritualism Animal Magnetism Unmasked Science, Theology, Medicine Physiology Footsteps of Truth Creation Science of Being Some Objections Answered Christian Science Practice which explains how healing is undertaken Teaching Christian Science Recapitulation, the text used for class instruction in Christian science healing. Topic. Key to the scriptures This section is 100 pages long, and comprises Genesis, a detailed analysis of the two versions of the creation story given in Genesis The Apocalypse, an analysis of parts of Revelation Glossary, giving the spiritual meaning of 114 biblical terms. Topic. Fruitage This section consists of 84 testimonials of the healing power derived from reading the text in Science and Health. There are descriptions of addiction, asthma, broken bone, cataract, cancer, deafness, eczema, a fibroid tumor, and rheumatism. Prior intervention by physicians is mentioned in 50 of these cases, and one relates a confirmatory X-ray by a physician. Topic. Copyright The first edition was copyrighted in 1875. The copyright for science and health went through several renewals including a posthumous renewal in 1934 by the Christian Science Board of Directors. At the request of the Christian Science Board of Directors, in December 1971 Congress passed a law extending the copyright on science and health by 75 years, however, following a legal suit brought by David James Nolan and Lucille J. Place of United Christian Scientists, the copyright extension was found unconstitutional in 1985 by Federal District Judge Thomas Penfield Jackson. In 1987 the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia upheld the ruling of the District Court. As a result, science and health has been in the public domain since 1987. Topic editions The first edition was printed by W.F. Brown & Co. Their invoice for 1,000 copies, dated 30 October 1875, was made out to George M. Barry and Edward Hitchens for $2,285.35. It consisted of 456 pages, plus two pages of errata. 
Unfortunately there were hundreds of typographic errors, some because the printer, not understanding the author's meaning, had tried to correct the wording without consulting her. The second edition, printed by Rand, Avery and Co., appeared in 1878, with 167 pages of new material. It was called Science and Health Volume 2 to indicate that it was a supplement to the first edition, but it, too, was full of typographic errors. However the third edition, printed by John Wilson at the University Press in Cambridge was of a high standard. Twelve further two-volume editions followed, before the 16th edition appeared as a single volume in 1886. This edition of the book had 552 pages, plus an index of 38 pages, and, with key to the scriptures, had been added to the title. Etty remained loyal to the university press for the rest of her life, and in 1897 even made a substantial investment to save it from bankruptcy. Etty closed her college and left Boston in 1889, in order to revise the text for the 50th edition, 1891. This consisted of 578 pages plus a 73-page index, and for the first time included marginal headings. The 226th edition appeared in 1902, and this included fruitage, making up the page count of 700 pages which remains to this day. The last numbered edition was the 418th, which appeared in 1906, but further changes were made until 1910. The German translation appeared in 1912. At Eddie's insistence, the English text of each page was printed opposite the German translation. The same format was kept for the subsequent versions in other languages, Czech, Danish, Dutch, Finnish, French, Greek, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish and Swedish. During the 1990s, a trade edition was released which included an index and a banner headline more than 10 million copies sold. This edition was intended for marketing through ordinary booksellers. Topic. Summary Science and Health encapsulates the teachings of Christian science and Christian scientists often call it their textbook. At Sunday services, passages from the book are read along with passages from the Bible. Eddie called the two books Christian Science's dual and impersonal pastor. Topic resources Eddie, Mary Baker, 1906. Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures. The Christian Science Board of Directors. The Constitution and the Christian Science Textbook. Mary Baker Eddy Institute, 2000. Retrieved 15 October 2006. Brosang, Ernest J. 1990. A Christian Science Library, a Descriptive and Extended Bibliography. Privately printed.